This is Witchbase News for Friday the 4th of December 2020 ...I'm Commander Burr. In this weeks news... ...was there an interesting odyssey hint in last weeks community goal artwork? We've got some useful tools to help your contributions to this weeks CG ...Frontiers second weekly ask me anything and more. If you enjoyed this video remember to hit like and subscribe and if you'd like to help support the work of this channel you'll also find us on Patreon. Links to everything you need are in the description below. We start this week with an interesting little nugget that came to us via our son Commander Reno Solis. The website ArtStation contains a fair amount of concept and 3D artwork from artists that have worked on or are working on Elite Dangerous and they sometimes post examples of that work on the website. Even a cursory search on ArtStation will bring up images of the hand scanner from Odyssey that haven't been released publicly anywhere else as far as we're aware. One of the concepts on the site is for a small vehicle called an exopod. The design is quite intricate going into significant detail on the cockpit and internal space meaning at the very least its inclusion in the game was at least seriously considered at some point. The vehicle seems to be a sort of worker bee style small vessel with a very modular design similar in nature to the SRV. Think of it as a space going forklift truck. Handy for working outside in space when more power is needed than can be offered by a spacesuit alone but where a full size spaceship would be overkill. In and of itself this is interesting enough but Commander Reno then spotted something else. The exopod has now been featured in artwork that appears in the game itself. Last weeks CG centred around the arms build up of the Imperial and Federation navies in the article on Galnet about the CG you can clearly see an exopod operating at the federal and imperial shipyards helping in the construction of the new ships. Concept art is one thing but to see the vehicle actually in the game albeit in a still image is entirely something else. That makes it canon. That means it exists in the elite universe and adds a whole lot more weight to an argument around whether we'd likely see this new type of flying utility vehicle in Odyssey ...potentially even as a player owned and operated vehicle. I've linked to Reno's discoveries on ArtStation below if you want to check them out. The latest community goal kicked off yesterday and it again sees the Alliance prodding the Thargoid bear with a pointy stick ...this time ably assisted by the less than reputable Sirius Mega Corporation. The CG is offering a newly over engineered advanced discovery scanner in exchange for planetary surface data from the Ammonia worlds that are so favoured by the Thargoids. Helpfully the Sirius Corporation has new technology in development that can terraform ammonia worlds to make them earth like ...something I'm sure the ammonia loving Thargoids will thank humanity for endlessly and enthusiastically. If you want to help contribute to the goal you'll need to surface scan ammonia worlds and hand the data into the CG but rather than randomly stumbling around hoping to find an ammonia world the elite community has unsurprisingly come up with a couple of time optimising solutions. About the best we've seen so far is the Spanch Root Plotter website which already has a root plotter finding option that will take you places via ammonia based worlds. There are also multiple lists popping up all over the community of ammonia based worlds for you to just drop in and scan and we've linked to some of the useful stuff in the description below. As we've already mentioned once again it seems the Alliance is keen to prod the sleeping Thargoid dragon. We think they're surely up to something Thargoid related but we just don't know what yet. Post your tinfoil wrapped Alliance Thargoid conspiracy theories in the comments below. Frontier held their second weekly ask me anything session this week and whilst it was again light on real answers the team did repeat again that Dev Diary 3 is coming later this month and then revealed that not only is it combat focused this time but there is a chance that we'll see some combined arms details ...what Frontier refer to as the sphere of combat. That's to say ships, SRVs and foot soldiers all in the same place working for or against each other. Here's hoping. 
As we reported recently the fuel rats are fast approaching the staggering figure of 100,000 rescues and to celebrate that incredible milestone they are holding a competition to win a Thrustmaster HOTAS controller courtesy of Frontier Developments with runners up receiving in game paint packs. To enter the competition you'll need to produce a poster celebrating the 100,000 milestone. The full details are linked below. Operation Ida will be holding their annual Holiday Hall community event from the 11th of December. This year in lieu of any stations to repair they have various fun community events to participate in as well as competition prizes to win all the while they'll also be raising money for the humanitarian charity Médecins Sans Frontières. Links to everything you need are also below. And finally this week the Elite Dangerous subreddit passed 250,000 subscribers. Congratulations to all the admins and organisers there on a job well done. That's it for now. Thanks very much for watching. We'll be back later this week with more videos. Until then 07 CMDRs follow the greens on the way out and do keep clear of the toast rack. We very much look forward to seeing you next time.